Prototype games come in all shapes and sizes. Some are found on backup media like DVDs, and some still are found on carts. Some run on development kits, and some will function on retail consoles. Then there are those that are found as source code, waiting decades for somebody to come by and compile it one more time. On Proto Media, I hope to highlight some of the more physical pieces that have come through my house. On today's episode, we take a look at a prototype for the game based on the 1994 film, Stargate. Those of you that know me already know that I'm a huge Stargate fan. Based on the other videos of my channel, you may already see that Stargate games have a bit of a cursed history, with very few games coming out, let alone being any good if they do. This game was one of those two anyway, having been released on the Super Nintendo and Genesis in 1995, shortly after the film's release. The game stars Jack O'Neill with one L, and is about as accurate as the Namco Star Wars game was. You can shoot, jump, pick up some stuff, but overall the game is pretty unimpressive. The prototype is essentially the same thing. It seems to be the retail version, set to, guess what, Next Gen Magazine. But in good prototype fashion, at least it's interesting to look at, since it contains rewritable chips that can be used for other games. This cart is a lot bigger than the standard Sega Genesis cartridge. Going back to the idea of rewritable chips for a second, if you look very closely, you can see that underneath the Stargate sticker, there was some sort of other sticker, meaning that this cartridge was used for some other game. Now I'm never going to peel the Stargate sticker off, but one can only hope that it was something good, or at least better than Stargate. As I mentioned earlier, I believe that this is the review version of the game. I played the game for a little bit and saw no changes compared to the final version. Now, I'd like to confirm that by dumping the cart, but unfortunately, retroads have gone out of stock and I haven't been able to find somebody to send me one. I'm not the biggest Sega Genesis or cartridge prototype fan for that matter, but I hope that somebody hears this and will send me one someday so we can get this dumped and online for free. Prototype preservation is extremely important. No matter what I see while I play the game, there could be something else hiding in the code. For that reason, we have to back up everything. I hope to do videos like this showing off the prototype media every couple of weeks. While I can't guarantee specific games, if you have a system that you'd like me to try and find a prototype for, do let me know in the comments. Until next time, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.